AI is just about everywhere, unless you have been living under a rock. You must have heard about even one AI tool of some sort. Today, I am going to show you how to leverage AI and increase your earning potential by thousands per month. Think I'm bluffing? What if I told you that it is possible to make up to 5,000 to 15,000 per month, all from the comfort zone of your home and without ever having to touch a physical product and starting with zero, basically nothing, with something called Etsy Print On Demand? Well, I already know and expect. I'll get comments like these. Ouch. Wow. Ah, well, here you go. Here's someone who clearly spitting 100% facts. But on a more serious note though, Etsy print on demand is something that anybody can do. It doesn't matter what your skill level is, whether you are an expert or a beginner, I'm going to show you step by step exactly how you can start your own Etsy print on demand business. Today, we'll be using Etsy, Printify, and Midjourney. And I've got a special feast for you guys. I'm going to be starting my own Etsy print on demand business live in this video, and I'm going to walk you through the entire process of me doing that step by step. Welcome to my channel, Online Money Tactics. My name is O'Neill. Please share this video to someone who you know want to start their own print on demand business. I share new tips and tactics on how to make money online on a regular basis. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a huge thumbs up and don't hesitate to leave a comment down below if you have any questions. So let's start like this. First, what exactly is Etsy Print On Demand? Print On Demand is when you work with suppliers that provide you with white label products like t-shirts, phone covers, mugs, blank hats, and virtually anything that you can think of, and then place your own designs on those products and sell them as your own. For example, if I go at Etsy and I type in mugs into the search bar, I get pages upon pages of mugs being sold, most of them with some sort of graphic or text on them. And the good thing about a print-on-demand business is that you literally never have to manage, store, or protect any physical product. And that's because products are only created after a sale goes through. And then the product is sent directly to the customer from the actual print-on-demand supplier. So to get started with Etsy print-on-demand, the first thing you need to decide on is exactly what products you'll be selling. My personal recommendation here is that you want to try and stick with a particular niche, right? What I mean by this is, you don't want to go and sell dog clothing as in like, you know, actual clothing that dogs wear, alongside, uh, car mats, right? The two just don't make sense being sold together. Instead, I want you to either get really good at just selling one thing, or sell things that have some type of correlation together. And once you've actually decided on what you're going to sell, it's now time to start coming up with design ideas, which means the first thing we'll need to do is actually come up with some inspiration. And there are a variety of places that you can go for design inspiration, but my favorite is Pinterest. Now, for example, let's just say that you wanted to find design inspiration for mugs. What you want to do is, for example, go to Pinterest and simply type in mugs for inspirational designs and what you'll get is hundreds of different mug designs, and if you keep on scrolling the ideas, just keep on flowing. Now the point here is not to copy these ideas, right? No, I'm not encouraging you to go and steal these ideas and potentially find yourself in legal trouble, no. I also have my brand and reputation to protect here. However, there's a big, big difference between stealing and being inspired. For example, these mugs here are pretty cool, right? Let's take a look on this mushroom design. Hold on, just in case you haven't noticed, coincidentally, this pin here actually leads to an Etsy page. And if we click right here to actually go and look at the Etsy page, we can see how much this mug is selling for. Well, $13.59 for this mug. Now, I'm actually more curious. So I'm going to go to the seller's page to see what else they are selling. So it looks like we have hot and cold bottles here and more mugs. And we also have stickers here selling. So you see the collaboration of different products here, just like what I mentioned earlier. So if a customer buys a mug, they can also buy a sticker to put on another mug or something else. Now let's look at the prices, $25, $23, $8, $4, $23, $16, $25, $23. These are really good price listings if you asked me. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of math here just for fun. So this seller is a total of 10,500 sales total in its lifetime so far. Now as you can see, most of the prices are over $10, so let's do some calculation as fair as we possibly can. 
Let's say all these items were sold for only $10. So I'm going to multiply these 10,500 sales by $10 just to show the earning potential. Equals $105,000 in sales just from Etsy alone. And just keep in mind, this is mostly passive income because my guess is they're probably doing Etsy print on demand as well. This is just an estimate, so I'm positive this is way more based on our calculation method. So the only thing they have to do is come up with the designs and that's it, because everything else is done for them automatically. Now without getting carried away, let's just get back to actually making our own designs. So let's say we are going to draw inspiration from this mushroom design and see what we can come up with. So now we are finally at the fun part where we are now going to create our designs with AI. But first, I suggest you open a new business Gmail account and don't mix it with your personal accounts. This can be the name of your business or something in close relation to it. Now with that out the way, you need to go on Etsy to open your Etsy shop. You can do that by going to the very bottom of the page, then just click on the sell on Etsy button and click open a shop. Then using that business email address that you just created, you can sign up completely for free using the link below this video. Then with the same email you just made, follow the other link from down below and sign up for Printify. From there, you'll also want to add your Etsy shop just by clicking connect and logging into the two accounts so that all of your products and orders will sync up with one another. This will make everything really passive down the line. Now with all of that set up out of the way, which is actually really easy, we can begin designing products using my favorite AI tool, Midjourney. You probably already know about it, but just in case you are really living under a rock, Midjourney is just an image generation AI that's been out for a while now. And basically, all of these images that you can see were generated from a single line of text called a prompt. We're going to use Midjourney to generate entire designs for our mugs. So make sure that you have a free Discord account and then go to Midjourney's website and click on the Join the Beta button at the bottom of the page. And this will connect you to the Midjourney server inside Discord. Now, sadly, you will have to pay $10 a month to use Midjourney and have access to the full commercial rights to sell the images. Now in the Midjourney server, where it says Midjourney Bot, just right click on it and select Message. And this will bring up your own private chat so that you don't have to see everybody else's images that they're generating when you're trying to make your own. So to make our first image, just go down to this chat box section at the bottom of the screen where it says Message. So you can start by typing out a forward slash. Now when you see this pop up, just click on the Imagine option. Here's where we can type literally whatever kind of design that we can think of but there's a lot more that we can do at the prompt to get even better designs for our mugs. So let's type out a forward slash and go to the settings option and open up the settings window. From this page, you can decide how much stylization or creativity is given to the AI. For example, a low stylization is going to generate an image very literally based on your prompt. While choosing a higher stylization is going to add a lot more of the AI's own creativity to it, which results in better graphics, which is what we want. So let's run our prompt at the highest level of stylization each time so we can get the best results as possible. So now we wanted to do something similar to this mushroom mug, for example. We could do it super easily. So in the prompt section, I would just want to type out something slightly different like red mushroom plant in the style of watercolor painting, sharp slash prickly on a white background. And adding that on a white background is really important. And then I'm just going to hit enter and wait to see what it comes up with. Now each time you run a prompt, it'll generate you four new images. And these, honestly, almost all look pretty usable. But it'll also give you some new controls right below it. So for example, this reroll button, if you click it, it'll run the same prompt again, giving you four brand new images. And you can click this as many times as you want. If one of them is almost right, but just not quite there, then you can use the corresponding variation buttons to make more similar images. This will just give you four variations of that image. And then once one of them looks good, you can click the corresponding upscale button to make it larger. Now at this point, with an image that looks good, as long as it's on a white background, you could upload it directly to a mug on Printify and be ready to sell it. But before you go making a ton of different graphics, there's one last feature that you have to know about if you're going to be selling mugs. So when you're crafting the prompt, there's obviously important keywords that compose the type of images that you're left with. That's pretty easy to understand, but there's something really important towards the end of the prompt, called parameters. Basically, you're able to add a parameter at the end of a prompt to force the AI to generate certain types of images. 
There's a lot of different parameters, but most importantly is adding dash dash AR for aspect ratio. This allows us to tell mid-journey if we want a vertical image. So we could do a 9 by 16, for example, if we wanted it to be vertical. And this will usually print individual items since there's less space, or you could do it wider. You could type 16 by 9 and get a lot more items in your art since there's more space, or you could just enter your own aspect ratio. So what if you could create an aspect ratio? That would perfectly fill the total print area for a mug. Well, you can. You can start by typing dash dash AR and then add a space and then type 293 colon 151 at the end of the prompt and it'll generate a super wide image that happens to be the exact size you need to fill the total print area of a mug. As for me, I am sure you will want to see what I was able to create using this exact method. The first mushroom style that I went for was this design, which came out all right, but it wasn't all that if you should ask me, but I still think I got several good results. Then I tried to do this design, which is honestly my favorite. I think these came out really good as well, but how do we take these images and make money with them? Well, here's how. Once you've upscaled an image that you like, you can click on the image and literally just right click it and save it to your computer. Now with the image that you downloaded, as long as it's on a pure white background, you can upload it directly to a white mug on Printify that's ready to sell. You can see that the design fits perfectly and looks great on the mug mockups in Printify. Now since we're generating images that are already the right size, we're ready to just publish it to our Etsy shop. I uploaded this one as a second example so you can see more how to apply this. And even with this design uploaded as is, it could probably already sell. And at this point, we've gone from pretty much nothing to a product that's ready to list for sale using only AI. Hopefully you can see how you can use this to make a ton of great designs with hardly any work. And again, you only need one design to start getting some attention and you will see that everything will eventually start to flourish. Now, one more thing before I go, just in case you would like some different mock-up for your mugs other than the default Printify mock-ups. The absolute best option is to come to Etsy and search for mug mock-ups and find some that are proven to work and buy those and use them in your shop. But if you need a free option, I like using rawpixel.com. So you can come and search for mug mock-ups here and you can be sure to filter by free. When you find one that you like that you think could work, you can download the file and from here you'll be able to open and edit it. But you'll have to come to this website called PhotoP, which is a free Photoshop alternative. You can drag in that file that ends in PSD that we just made, and here's how we can edit it. We just have to find where we're supposed to place our design. So on the right hand side of the screen, there's usually a layer that's labeled your design here, or something similar, and I'll just double click the icon on the left of the title and in here is where I can literally drag in my design and position it to fill the space. And then I'm just going to hit Command S on my keyboard to save it and then close out of this window and the mockup should update. Then from here, I can just go to File, Export and save it to my computer. Then we can just upload that image to our listing and save it as the first picture. Now the title and tags make the biggest impact for SEO. To get the best title, just search for similar products on Etsy that are on the first page of search results. Then when you find one and you open it, look at the keywords that they're using in their own title and compose your own title based on those keywords. Now at the very bottom of the page on that successful listing, you'll see these bubbles and each one of these bubbles is a tag. So we're going to fill out our own listing using very similar tags to what they're using in theirs. Doing those two things really well should be enough to eventually get your listings to rank organically so that you don't have to pay to run ads. Remember with this method, you'll usually have to post more listings to increase your chances of getting seen. So we basically started off with nothing, and now we have a business model that has the potential of making tens of thousands of dollars per month in collaboration with AI. And before I go, a big shout out to Printify for sponsoring this video. I've been working with them for quite a while now, and I see it as a tremendous opportunity to assist you achieve success on this platform. I hope you found some valuable tips in this tutorial video and that's all there is to it. Before I leave, be sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we release a new video on how to make money online or new innovative strategies to achieve financial freedom and you can get started right away. Also, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't be hesitant to leave a comment down below if you have any questions or comments about it. With that being noted, my name is O'Neill. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.